they become the animals in the show, they become the plants, they become the scenery, the background. Telling the story of the Lion King on a Broadway stage is a unique process. That's according to the man playing a big role off stage. It's not your pants, shirt, and tie kind of show. Head wardrobe supervisor Gregory Young shows us rows and rows of elaborate costumes and headpieces that fill the backstage area at the Kentucky Center. In the beginning of the show, mostly all the costume pieces are in your rust and gold colors. More than 250 costume pieces grace the stage during the show, transforming actors into animals. Young considers the scar costume the most detailed. His cages and the ribs. Uh, the corset that they have to make it look like it's a rib cage. Other characters are brought to life in puppet form. Kind of uptight, uh, sarcastic British bird is like my spirit animal, so it wasn't too much of a jump. Before The Lion King, Jurgen Hooper had never worked with puppets. He says it was fascinating getting to know his puppet, Zazu. Because at first, you know, it's very mechanical, and you're just kind of like, okay, how do I move the mouth? How do I move the wings and the body? All elements, Hooper says, are essential in making The Lion King the world's number one musical. You have all of these elements that kind of come together to tell a highly and purely theatrical show. Alex Durham, WOKY News.